Section 1. Here is a quick summary of the problems most schools experience with a paper-based tool. Number 1. The first major problem is its cost. In 1999, Kronhelm, Kurnow, Whistler, and Poker conducted a comprehensive study on the direct and indirect costs associated with conducting paper-based course evaluations and found that the cost to deliver an evaluation on paper is approximately $1.74 per evaluation. This means that even if a university with 10,000 students runs their evaluations four times more efficiently than Cronelm et al. suggest, that school spends over $40,000 per year performing their evaluations. The second problem is poor data analysis. We have spoken to many teachers who have complained that after reading their evaluations, they don't know exactly what to do to improve their performance. For instance, if 75% of the class loved a teacher in one area and 25% were dissatisfied in the same area, that teacher would have no clue what to do to reach out to that disgruntled 25%. Say the question was, the instructor speaks audibly and clearly. What would you specifically recommend to that teacher to improve their performance? In addition, it is difficult to track a teacher's performance over time with a paper-based solution and compile tenure reporting. The third major problem with paper is the delay in the published results. At most schools, collecting, scanning, and analyzing the data from thousands of individual evaluations is an enormous task. Because of this, faculty and administrators typically have to wait months to get the results. That means that instructors are already teaching their next class before they get feedback and have to wait to the next semester before they can implement their changes. Handwritten comments also pose a challenge. Schools have two basic options on what to do with a student's written responses. They can be typed up by someone on staff, necessitating thousands of hours of useless work, or the forms can be given directly back to the faculty. This obviously raises a huge confidentiality issue. Number five, schools are limited to a single, long question set. This means students can get confused by questions that aren't relevant to the course they just took. Plus, they must supply demographic information on each form. The result is survey fatigue, students not giving as thoughtful responses, and students becoming frustrated with the evaluation process.